Thursday's episode saw Denise returning home after being sectioned a few weeks ago, but there was still tension between her and Jack. Jack had been looking through the statements the six made to police about the events of Christmas Day when he realized there were major inconsistencies. While Jack was keen to ask Denise about these inconsistencies, his wife continued to try to sweep everything under the rug. Jack pressed on with his attempts to get the truth from Denise, even as she warned him his questioning could send her back to the psych ward. The detective brought up the numerous issues in the six's alibi, like Denise's fingerprints not being on the bottle that struck Niche. Why did the six of you cook up an elaborate cover-up on the night one man gets attacked and another one goes missing? Jack asked. He warned that he couldn't protect Denise unless she was honest with him. Denise admitted that she'd attacked Nish with the bottle because he was trying to kill Suki. You can plead reasonable force when you confess, Jack told Denise. Denise was horrified at the prospect of confessing, so she changed the story to suggest she'd hit Nish with such force because she'd fallen out with Jack on Christmas Day. You used your daughter's self-harm to blackmail me into staying with you, she recalled. In that moment of blind rage, I dunno, maybe I did wish it was you. She turned the tables on Jack, claiming she'd hidden the truth to protect her husband's precious job. Jack apologized again, telling her that he loves her. And I love you. I've never been more certain of that than I am now, Denise told him. The detective begged his wife to confess, though she still refused and vowed to deny any allegation if he tried to turn her in. I've told you everything I know. I don't know what happened after I left. I don't know where Keanu is, she insisted. 